ahead of President Kim Young Sam's funeral tomorrow, ordinary citizens line up alongside politicians and businessmen to pay their last respects. The late President Kim Young Sam donated all of his assets to society according to a promise he made with the country when he was alive. And beans are well known for their health benefits. A recent study shows that foods made with beans can help prevent colorectal cancer. Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Wednesday, November 25th. I'm Luke Clary. In the run-up to former President Kim Young Sam's funeral tomorrow, mourners visit the hospital to pay their last respects. Alongside the political figures and business tycoons, ordinary citizens came to the memorial altar to share their fond memories of the late president. Roughly 20,000 people have visited the late President Kim Young Sam's memorial altar, set up at the Seoul National University Hospital, to pay their last respect. Ordinary citizens streamed in to mourn the former president's death, each cherishing their fond memories of him. Former Prime Minister Lee Soo Sung, who served the longest term as Prime Minister under the Kim Young Sam administration, remembers the late president's humane nature, always thinking about the vulnerable people first. The late president's sisters, who he loved very much, couldn't stop weeping in front of his photo. <laughs> the former first lady, Son Myung Soon, offered chrysanthemums to her husband for the third straight day. Ahead of his funeral on Thursday, large numbers of mourners are expected to remember and pray for the deceased president at the memorial altar and some 200 incense altars set up nationwide. The late President Kim Young Sam donated all of his assets to society, according to a promise that he made when he was alive. The late president often said that politicians should not amass wealth. The late President Kim Young Sam promised to donate all of his assets to society at a meeting with then Grand National Party Chairman An Sang Su in 2011. According to the late President's will, his 80,000 square meter real estate in Koje and Masan, South Gyeongsang Province, has been donated to the Kim Young Sam Center for Democracy, while the house where he was born was donated to the Koje city government. The combined value of the donation surpasses 4 million U.S. dollars. Kim's house in Sangdo Dong Seoul will also be donated to the Kim Young Sam Center for Democracy after his widow Son Myung Soon passes away. None of the late president's five children have inherited any of his assets. 정치인에게 돈이 멈추면 썩는다. 나는 생각을 가지고 돈 관리를 해야 된다 하는 말씀을 늘 하셨습니다. One of the greatest achievements of the late president Kim Young Sam was enhancing the transparency of Korean society by mandating all public officials to disclose their assets. By donating all of his assets, he carried out the spirit of noblesse oblige. We now bring you our news bulletin for today. Korea's last remaining MERS patient has died. Health officials say the patient died at around 3 o'clock this morning at Seoul National University Hospital. The patient had once been discharged from the hospital after testing negative for the viral disease, but was readmitted last month after showing additional symptoms. The death means that Korea no longer has any active MERS patients six months after the first case was confirmed on May 20. Harsh statements from President Park Geun-hye, who has instructed officials to wipe out illegal and violent protests as if they were dealing with terrorism. She also charged the National Assembly of dereliction of duty and urged the parliament to promptly pass the FTA ratification bill and other economic stimulus bills. President Park Geun-hye presided over Tuesday's cabinet meeting, which was supposed to be headed by the prime minister to strongly denounce the illegal protests and ensuing violent clashes. 
She said those involved in the illegal protests intended to deny the Republic of Korea's rule of law and render the government powerless. She added that the participants would be dealt with harshly. 나라 전체를 마비시킬 수 있다는 것을 보여주자며 폭력 집회를 주도했고 대한민국의 체제 전복을 기도한 통진당의 부활을 주장하고. She claimed that terrorists could infiltrate illegal protests and threaten citizens' lives, stressing that masked protests should be banned by law. She also repeatedly expressed her disappointment at the stalled legislative process at the National Assembly. 맨날 앉아서 립서비스만 하고 경제 걱정만 하고 민생이 어렵다고 그러고 자기 할 일은 안 하고 이거는 말이 안 됩니다. 위선이라고 생각을 합니다. President Park also claimed that if the Korea-China Free Trade Agreement is not enacted within this year, Korea stands to lose roughly $3.5 million every day. She added that it's crucial to ratify the trade accord as soon as possible rather than constantly worry about Korea's faltering exports. The development of Korean KFX fighter jets has hit yet another snag as the U.S. government refuses to transfer not only the core technologies but other remaining technologies as well. Let's take a closer look. Korea's project to develop KFX fighter jets was almost halted after it became known that the United States refused to transfer core technologies. Defense Acquisition Program Administration Minister Chang Myung-jin reported to the National Assembly last month that the nation would develop four core technologies on its own and receive the remaining 21 technologies from the U.S. without any problems. However, U.S. defense maker Lockheed Martin said the exact opposite when negotiating the matter with the Defense Acquisition Program Administration last week. According to Lockheed Martin, the U.S. government is refusing to export the remaining technologies as well, including the twin-engine integration technology. The twin-engine integration technology is essential for designing the airframe. If Korea fails to obtain it, the KFX project could be scrapped for good. The Defense Acquisition Program administration will dispatch a negotiation team to the U.S. next week to hold a second round of talks, but it might not be able to escape criticism that it hasn't been truthful with the public. South Korea's National Intelligence Service reports that North Korea's former second-in-command Che ryong hae has been banished because of policy opinions differing from those of the country's leader Kim Jong-un, as well as the shoddy construction of the Mount Baekdu power plant. Here's more. The National Intelligence Service reported that North Korea's Workers' Party secretary, Che ryong hae was expelled to a local farm to be re-educated in revolutionary ideology due to the shoddy construction of the Mount Baekdu power plant. Headed by Che, the construction project was completed last month, but the power plant experienced the severe water leaks caused by a massive landslide. Che was held responsible for the poor quality of the construction. He is also known to have differed in opinion with Kim Jong-un over North Korea's youth policies. Meanwhile, Kim young char the head of the Reconnaissance General Bureau, and his colleagues were either retained or promoted. Kim was the one who masterminded the mind blasts at the South Korean side of the DMZ this past summer. However, military officials who failed to respond properly to South Korea's artillery retaliation are known to have been demoted or dismissed. Also, Hwang byung the director of the General Political Bureau, and Workers' Party Secretary Kim yang were named Heroes of the Republic for stopping South Korea's anti-North propaganda broadcasts. They were also involved in the high-ranking inter-Korean meeting held in August. Beans are well known for their health benefits. A recent study shows that foods made with beans can help prevent colorectal cancer. Let's learn more about the delicious and nutritious food. Beans are often called a superfood, as they contain high-quality protein and all kinds of nutrients. A study conducted on Koreans showed that beans can prevent colorectal cancer. 
A study on eating habits of some 3,600 people, including colon cancer patients, revealed that men who ate plenty of beans were 33% less likely to have colorectal cancer. In women, the risk declined by 35%. The cancer preventing effect was found to be even more profound in postmenopausal women. Fiber contained in beans protects the mucous membrane of the large intestine from exposure to carcinogens. Beans also contain substances that suppress the growth of cancerous cells. 콩이라든지 콩과 식물에 들어 있는 이소플라본이라는 성분은 유사 여성 호르몬의 역할을 하기 때문에 여성에서 대장암 예방에 효과가 있는 것으로 알려져 있습니다. Experts recommend eating 90 grams of beans daily to prevent colon cancer. That's one bowl of rice cooked with beans or one cube of tofu. Eating tofu is a perfect way to absorb all the anti-cancer substances contained in beans because it's easy to digest. Of the numerous packaged potato chip products out on the market, the sweet honey-flavored kinds have been found to contain higher sodium content than the salty original varieties. Concerns have been raised that consuming a whole bag of chips may lead to excessive intake of sodium and saturated fat. Potato chips are a universal snack loved by men and women as well as the young and old. Over 20 different brands are currently sold in Korea. In particular, the sweet-flavored potato chips have been immensely popular as of late. However, according to a survey by the Civic Group Consumers Korea, the honey-flavored chip varieties have higher sodium contents than the original salty kinds. 짠 맛이 들어갔을 때 달콤한 맛을 더 강하게 느낄 수 있기 때문에 이 달콤한 맛을 부각하기 위해서 나트륨 함량이 증가한 것으로 보여집니다. As for saturated fat, Pringles original had the highest count of 15 grams, followed by Pringles onion flavor. They were followed by honey butter chip and the baked potato brand honey cheese flavor. The nutrition information on the back of the packages is usually based on the single portion set by the manufacturers. Therefore, Consumers Korea warns that if you finish the whole bag, you are consuming much higher levels of sodium and saturated fat than indicated on the label. The late President Kim Young-sam is also remembered for his signature accent and quirky remarks. Looking back at books and comedy programs of his day, when the president was often the subject of satire, offers a reflection on the human side of the late leader. This is a humor book published in 1993 when the late President Kim Young-sam took office. The satirical booklet is filled with his trademark off-the-wall remarks and tongue slips. YS received a phone call congratulating his presidential win the caller said that after many hardships, his wife finally became the first lady. The startled YS responded, My wife was never my second mistress. This unconventional, shocking publication to directly lampoon the sitting president sold 400,000 copies in just a month. It also made media headlines. <laughs> Similar books followed suit and political satire became a popular genre of its own. TV shows also brimmed with jokes of imitation and vocal mimicry of the president. Along with the chopped noodles dish kalguksu Kim enjoyed, the blatant satires of him now remain as a memory to remember his easygoing and unaffected personality. Tangerines are a signature winter fruit known for preventing colds, as they're rich in vitamin C. Today, we're taking a look at how to make tangerines sweeter and use their peels as well. The harvest of tangerines is in full swing these days. Here's how to choose the best tangerines. 
귤은 낱개를 사실 때는 껍질이 얇고 여기 꼭지 부분이 파랗고 크기가 조금 작은 게 맛있는 귤이고요 박스로 구입하실 때는 상한 귤은 따로 주셔야 오래 두고 드실 수 있어요 To remove pesticides and mold from less fresh tangerines wash them first with water mixed with baking soda or rough soap Then let them soak in water mixed with vinegar for about 5 minutes There's a simple yet effective way to raise the sweetness level of sour tangerines. These tangerines are too hard and measure only 8.2 bricks in terms of sweetness. To make them softer and sweeter, rub them with your hands for some time. Now their sweetness level is 2 bricks higher. 귤에 스트레스를 주시게 되면 에틸렌의 영향으로 인해서 당도가 좀 상승하는 경향이 있습니다. 외부의 공격이 왔을 때 자기를 방어하면서도 도와주기 때문에 당도가 그냥 생귤일 때보다 약 20% 정도 상승한다는 연구 보고도 있습니다. Fried tangerines also taste good. Just fry them until golden and enjoy them while they're warm. 귤을 구워서 드시게 되면 과일 안에 있는 수분은 날아가고 과육에 들어있는 당분은 조금 더 농축되기 때문에 좀더 달고요. 섬유소가 구워져 있기 때문에 좀더 부드러워서 소화 흡수가 잘 되는 특징이 있습니다. Warm fried tangerines help to fight colds. To make sweet and sour tangerine scones, mix wheat flour dough with some heavy cream and plenty of tangerines and bake the scones. And here's how to make tangerine syrup. Just mix tangerines with sugar at the ratio of 1 to 1 and keep it at room temperature for 3 days. Tangerine peels also contain ample amounts of vitamin C. Dry the peel and use it later to make tea. 건강해지는 것 같고 올겨울 감기 문제 없을 것 같아요. Now the tangerines are in season, you can make the best use of this winter fruit to stay healthy during the coldest time of the year. And now we'll take a look at the markets, followed by the world weather. And that's it for this edition of News Today. Thanks so much for being with us. We'll see you again at the same time tomorrow. Goodbye.